are back on court two here at the VWF World Championships 2023, and it's on to the women's singles. Noi and Toi Lin from Vietnam taking on Nozomi Okuhara from Japan, former champion. Looking at the draw, well, once again, it'll be a seeded player that one of these players will face in round two, and that is PV Sindhu. And up at the top of the draw, as you can see, Rajnok Intanon is the other seeded player that has received a bye into round two. And she will play either Suin Chi or Clara as your Mendy. And this should be a good matchup. Wall number 25, Toy Lin taking on wall number 36. So players just making their way onto court two now. Nosomi Okuhara, winner in 2017 in the World Championships and also a bronze medalist in the 2019 edition. And let's not, of course, forget bronze medalist at the Olympic Games in 2016. Definitely an accomplished player. Umpire on court number two, Fabio Beto, Italy. Service judge. Such a tight draw in the women's singles category, not just here at the World Championships, but basically throughout the year on the BWF World Tour as well. Such a high level of competition everywhere you look. First meeting between these pairs. Sorry, between these uh, players. Okay, we have red or black. Who would like to choose? Red for you. Black this side. Black, your choice. That side. Serve or receive? Serving. Okay. Both. Very good at what they do. There's a difference in terms of achievements so far, has to be said. Just one World Tour title for... Noin, and that was the Vietnam Open, a home open last year. She, in fact, won against Go Jin Wei, we saw earlier. But capable player. Definitely capable of an upset and a good run. 25 years old, just two places below her highest ever ranking. And that was in July of this year, so good run from her. What a finalist. US Open and the Canadian Open, and obviously second at the Thai International this year. I'd love to have a great performance this week. Nozomi Okahara, 28 years old now, as I said, born in Nagano, Japan. And look at that, highest ranking, one. That's how good she was, and that was back in 2019. 347 wins to 119 losses in her career. Sen Puan's main appearance at the Olympic Games, double medalist here at the World Championships, triple medalist at the Sudirman Cup. Gold and two bronzes at the Uber Cup as well. And you just can't shy away from experience like that. In addition to that, five titles on the World Tour. And has beaten and played against some of the best. Umpire for this one, Fabio Beto. Joined by our service judge, Yasan Sairali. I said, Okuhara has played against the best. Chen Ready Yufei, Marin, Sindhu, Yamaguchi, Fai Tzu Ying. And these are in finals as well. So, she 
he would have to be the overwhelming favourite, really, on paper. But I said anything can happen at the World Championships. And I wonder if Nguyen Toilin is ready to create a headline. had a fair share of injuries I remember in 2013 she had a pretty severe knee injury she's come back every time and not a knee injury in 2017 I recall but as you can see he's looking pretty sprightly he's always been known for his speed Endurance is willing to play out all the points. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Nozomi Okuhara, Japan. And on my left, Nguyen Tuli, Vietnam. Nguyen Tuli to serve. Lavo. Play. So Tui Lin opening the service game. Hey. A wonderful start, opening point. One love. Service over, one, all. Oh. So Tolin just finding Two, one. her range with that drift playing behind her. Difficult to hit the back court. Exactly the way you want from this side of the court. But a great pace to this match already. Three points in. Three, one. Okuhara has always been known for playing a very fast game anyway. Just really pushing. The tempo, turning the screw. Oh. Oh, that's a difficult so angle for it. Two, three. Just trying to punch that into the corner. in no challenge coming three all good opening salvos from both ladies in this match so far Wonderful from Toilin. Four, 
Three. Have a look at this. Gets into the right position. Good footwork to get there as well. Turns her body well. Fires off the winner and it's pinpoint. That time, though, just snatched at it. Service over for all. Dropped in by Toilin. Service over, 5 4. Really had Okuhara at full stretch there. Right now, it's the news player that's asking four. all the questions. Okuhara is doing all the chasing. Benefits there from that going a bit long. Oh, well, she saw her opportunity. Just dashes Service in. Over. Six, Pulls it cross court. Five. I think mean, she could believe that came back that high, but she does what she needs to do. And again, it's just firing Seven, off five. attempted winners left and right. Well deserving of this two-point lead. I can tell you that Royal Arena is filling up with home fans, even on day one. It's only going to get bigger and better throughout the week, but good to see them here. Service over six, seven. Service back with Okuhara. Seven, oh, she knows Toy Lin, what an opportunity that was. Fired that very long. Well, that point really was about fighting for control, and it was Okuhara who was dashing around. Eight, seven. Finds that push into the back. Thank you. Mistakes. Toil in. Seven. And Okuhara gets our first two point lead. Checks the back line. That's been good. Service Effective. Eight, compact nine. performance by Toilin. A couple of mistakes here and there, but not too many to really define what she's been doing. That was a good pickup. What a 
shot from Toilin. Just a little bit of frustration with that tricky side. Eight. But what a shot in the middle of that rally. She's been playing some absolute crackers. So, into the first mid-game interval, and it's Azomi Okuhara ahead, 11-8, after just nine minutes. Players on court. Such a great opportunity for all the players and pairs here in Copenhagen this week. Not just because it's a chance to be crowned world champion, but it's also one of the highest, part of the Olympic Games, the highest ranking points that you can acquire at the World Championships and in this Olympic qualification year. Well, that is so precious. That's why it's always good to get a very good run. Some 13,000 points for the winner, in fact, if you do top your category in the World Championships, as opposed to 12,000 for the World Tour event. With this being the 11th event of Paris qualification, and that running to April next year. That's a very good reason to put in your best show here at the World Champs. Good rally here. Service over. Okay, right, Nine, 11. A little bit tired, longest rally, 39 shots. That's our opening benchmark. Well, Nine, I don't think it was 11. fatigue. I think it was frustration at the fact that... Well, actually, looking at that replay, it looks a little bit more like fatigue, but definitely wasn't happy with her reply. And that's the thing. Talking about a player in Okuharu, that's her game is essentially based on 11. speed and movement, so when she did have those knee injuries, as you can imagine, her world ranking and her performances dipped significantly in the aftermath of those injuries. Now fighting to come back again. Five ladies that have ever won, at least recently. And one of them awaits the winner of this match in round two. So we could have two former champions in round two, Okuhara versus Sindhu, if she can come through here. Plus the other winners, Intanon, Marin, Yamaguchi. 12-11. making her fifth appearance at the World Championships in Okuhara. Oh, oh is that in? Nope, just out. Service over. What Twelve. a shot and oh. what an idea. 
And that can sometimes be the problems for former champions on the comeback trail. PV Sindhu is a Blank. classic example of that right now, actually. In your head, you can see the game that you used to play, but the body still coming back into form. And sometimes that might just be the wrong choice to play. An unbelievable shot. And that's good work from Okuhara in front 13, court. 12. That's worked out well for her. Made all the difference in that one. Challenges called out. So, we do get our first challenge in this match, and based on the way these ladies were playing, that was almost always going to happen. It's a pretty key one as well. I mean, Okuhara, 14-12 up. It's out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 15, 12. Play. That's a shot. Oh, it's out. She picked that up so well, plucked 16, it out of the air. 12. Wipe the court, please. And she has pulled in a range a little, firing from this side of the court. But have a look at this. From where she is now, just up. Oh, that was inches wide, and she knows it. Unlucky. She's looking sharp, though. Might be four points behind. Yeah. 16 12. Interested to see how she can do from the other side of the court. She's acclimatized well to this side. Oh. That's out. Service over 13 16. Use your foot there. Yeah. Thank you. She was in two minds about it, Okahara, but left, over, left it well in the end. 30. And that is an important point. 17 13, four points in the lead, four points needed. She hasn't been in top, top form, Okahara, but she's done enough against a pretty fiery opponent, has to be said. Drop shot. 18 30. Now, just get the feeling that Ikuhara is sensing that she can claim this first game. Moving up a gear, perhaps.
19.30. Well, that's one of the benefits of playing into the drift. You can really start hitting into the backcourt. That's exactly what she did. So, Okuhara using that side of the court and its benefits to the max. 19-13, very good for this first game. It's a great shot from Okuhara. Just kept it so flat. That drop short into mid-court. Game point. So seven game points, 19 minutes played, and it's been a thrilling contest so far from these two. First time they're meeting, of course. Which is a little surprising if you think about it, as both of them are pretty established. 20. And the amount of tournaments that these players have to play every year, but somehow they never met before. reach from Okuhara. 15. Absolutely 20. wonderful drop shot from Toilin cross court. No mistakes allowed for the Vietnamese player. Game. Probably the First easiest mistake you can make. Ozobi, so 21 15. 15. And Okuhara has one foot into the second round. Beto reminds the ladies. Second game. Love all. Game two. Play. said Toy Lin was so effective from the other side of the court I was actually quite intrigued as to how she's going to perform from this the better side now Great court cut. 
coverage from Okuhara. Ah! Oh, and that's what I was talking about. So if you great saw winner from Toilin after a great rally. Control left well. So it's over three, one. Okuhara's turn to so deal with that two, three. extra breeze. So so what an Four, absolute cracker of a two. shot. That's what you call a return of serve. Wonderful. Five, two. Now, a little bit of frustration showing on Toilin's face. She does realize the significance of this second game. And it's not critical yet, being just three points back, but needs to find a little bit more control from that side. Oh. Six, two. It's not working out for us so far. Oh. And again, a couple of seven, two. consecutive mistakes, and all of a sudden that lead is up to five, and now is getting a little bit concerning. Three points, you could probably work back. Five points, you've got to really start thinking about what you're doing. Had to dig down deep to get that one out. Service over, three. Seven. Well, Okuhara absolutely bewildered as to how that ended up so wide. Service over. Eight, three. Still that lead. Maintained at five. It hasn't been complete control from Okuhara at all. She's kept a compactness about the game. Service over. Four, saying that, that was another eight. error. Service over. Nine, 
Now, what's Four. important is for Toy Lin to not let this patch of play affect her overall attitude. She was maintaining a good fighting spirit in that first game. Now it looks like heads dropping a tiny bit. She has to get over that. Service over. Good return. Five, nine. Fortunately, she pushed that too long. So, ten second mid game five. interval looming, and she hasn't been able to cut into this five point lead. That's not specifically through anything that her opponent has done, still finding her range from that side of the court. But I think she feels that she ought to be doing a little bit better from that. Five, interval. Well, 11 5 Okuhara with the second mid game interval lead, and she hasn't done anything spectacular, but she's done what she does best, which is play out the rallies just like this one, I'm waiting for any error or mistake from Toy Lin. Solid performance from Okuhara so far. Coach, you talk to your chair. Eleven five. Play. So second phase of game two and all important phase for Kongoy and Toy Lin. Went for the cross court winner. 12, five. Bit too low. And she's facing stiffer and stiffer problems right now. That lead now up to seven, Okuhara. And once again, Okuhara not having to do anything spectacular. Just engaging in the rallies, playing them out. Oh. Oh, that was very, very errant serve. Challenges. That's the first spectacular attempt that we did see from Okuhara, and what a shot it was. So good that it's drawn the challenge from Toilin. I've got to tell you, that actually looks like it was absolutely on the line. And it was absolutely on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. Now, if you think about where she played that from, challenge. that might just be shot of the match. From Okuhara. So Amazing. 13 6. 13 6. Play. That up here looks six. like it bounced in, but it was feathers, I'm sure. Looking back at the replay, it was a hit and hope. Nope, that was out. Well 
played by Toilin. Keeping it very tight in this point. Oh, late take from Okuhara. Was never going to work. Service over 7 40. Well, that was a much more confident point from Toilin. But you have to ask yourself has she left it too late in this second key game? Seven points back. She's made sure that her Japanese opponent has a buffer. Wow, bewildered Okuhara Eight, again. 14. That was a wonderful winner from Toilin. Have a look at it again. She was quite happily playing into that rally. And I think she was just a little bit surprised at that mid-court drop shot turning up. It was against the runner play, I guess. Ah! Ah! Oh, she'll take that. Service over 15 8. And this is where that big lead really starts cutting into your thinking. 15, 16, 17, 18 points. If you're seven points up or six points up, that boost of confidence can sometimes be all you need. Service over. So Nine, Toy Lin fighting 15. back. But these next three points are going to be absolutely critical to the outcome of this game and possibly the outcome of this match. The stake there from Okuhara. Great return from Okuhara. Oh, what a wonderful point from both ladies. Had to really dig down deep. 10, 15. In the end, it was a good down-the-line winner. Have a look at this. She just really recovered that well, but was never going to be in the right position. And it just needed that pinpoint accuracy from Toy Lin, which she duly provided. Oh, again, the quality of the drop shot. Service over 16 10. Just couldn't get back into position. It was the reverse of the point that we just okay. watched. 16 10. And what's been great about Nozomi Okohara has been she's been very careful in where she puts her winners. Apart from that spectacular cross court shot that led to the challenge. Apart from that, it's been really solid by the numbers stuff. That was a bit loose. So you can over. see from the way she hit it that 16. there was always that chance. That's solid stuff. Oh, what a return. Unbelievable. So over. 17, 11. When she needs to do the unbelievable, she dispatches. Look at that. That was near side as well. Remember, playing from the driftier side. So those shots really are something to shout about. 17-11. Gets back into position really well, Ogara. How about that for court coverage? Well, you've got to feel for toilet. That was, she was trying winners left and right. 18. Okuhara was always there. And in the end, she 
leaves it just a little bit wide. That was a difficult, difficult shot, though. And in all honesty, she came very close. What a winner. Service over. 12-18. Wow, the last 10 points that we've seen from these two ladies have been really top class. wide that time and there's that frustration again she Service knows over. how important 19, that was 12. round the head would have been absolutely perfect and now two points away from defeat make that one point away from 20, defeat so after 39 minutes the former champion Nozomi Okuhara with eight match points And she only needed one. It's a mistake from Toilin in the end. Valiant effort from the Vietnamese player, but it's straight games. 21-15, 21 12. Thank you. Match one by Nozomi Okohara. 21-15. 21. 40 12. minutes. There's that final point. the mistakes that cost her in the end. There's confirmation of it. 20 minutes for each game, 21-15, 21-12, and so it is a showdown of former champions in round two as Okuhara will face off against PV Sindhu. And coming up next, it's the mixed doubles. Dejan Ferdinandsha and Gloria with Jaja taking on Kaneko and Matsutomo. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 